Hello, Sammy Grace Homeschool. I'm James, and today we're going to be doing a math lesson focusing on adding numbers and parts, sin and columns. So today's aim is to learn add numbers and parts written in columns. For addition and subtraction, the commutative and associative properties form the basis of the column methods. Writing one number below the other and working in columns is useful because it automatically rearranges the parts of the numbers as, a, as is allowed by the commutative and associative properties of addition. For example, in the calculation of 278, plus 546, writing one number below the other and working in columns means the same as replacing 200 plus 70 plus eight, so that's the 278, obviously. And then the 500 plus 40 plus six is the 546. And you replace these by 200 plus 500 plus 70 plus 40 plus eight plus six. So you can see we're adding the hundreds, we're adding the tens, and then we're adding the units separately. And this is the direct application of the associative and commutative properties of addition. The distributive property allows the product to be broken down into partial products, which can be calculated more easily. For example, seven times 648 can be broken down to seven times, so 640, 600 plus 40 plus eight, all times by seven. So this is the 648 and it times by seven. So that can be broken down into seven times 600, seven times 40, and then seven times eight. So you just times these into the brackets. Okay, and then you get that, get this. If the learner knows the basic multiplication facts or tables, she or he can easily calculate these partial products and add them up to evaluate seven times 648. The column format is a convenient way of making the transition from seven times this addition equation or not equation um, statement over here. So seven times 600 plus 40 plus eight. And then you can make the transition from that to that using the column format. Numbers can be added by thinking of their parts as we say the numbers. For example, we say this number 4994 is 4,994. This can be written in expanded notation as 4,000 plus 900 plus 90 plus 4. So that was 4,994. Okay. Um, similarly, we can think of 31,837 as 30,000 plus 1,000 plus 800 plus 30. Plus seven. So that's 31,837. So if we add those together, 31,837 plus 4,994, um, these can be calculated by working with the various kinds of parts separately. So you can work with the tens of thousands, the thousands, the hundreds, the units, um, and the tens. Um, to make this easy, the numbers can be written below so that each so that the units are below the units, the tens are below the tens, and so on. So how we write this is, okay, so here we have the 31,837, and here we have the 4,994. And then, so we have the units above the units, the seven above the four, the tens above the tens, hundreds above the hundreds, thousands above the thousands, and ten thousands above ten thousands. You can see there's no 10,000 digits over here for this bottom number. So in your mind, you can see it like this. So we have the 30,000, the 1,000, the 800, 37, and then similarly for the bottom here, we have the 4,990 and four. And then we can add each column up. So this is the longer way of doing it. We'll get to a faster way just now. Okay, so how you add the columns up is you just add them up like you normally would. So 30,000 plus nothing will give us 30,000 at the bottom. Then 1,000 plus 4,000 gives us 5,000. 800 plus 900 gives us 1,700. 30 plus 90 gives us 120. And then seven plus four gives us 11. And then we move them in over here and we add them all up. So we have the 11 from the tens, the 120 from the, I mean the 11 from the units, the addition of the units, here's the addition of the units. 120 from the addition of the tens, 
1,700 from the addition of the hundreds, 5,000 from the addition of the thousands, and then 30,000 30, from the addition of the 10,000 column. Okay, and then we add those all up. So one plus all these zeros gives us a one at the bottom. One plus two and all the zeros gives us a three at the bottom. One plus seven plus the two zeros gives us an eight. One plus five and a zero gives us a six. And then three plus nothing gives us three. So it would give an answer for this addition here. Gives us an answer of 36,831. So this is an easy way to add um, sets of numbers to get the answer. The work may start with the 10,000s or any other part. So it could actually start higher. Maybe we start with the 100,000s or the millions, um, or it could even start with the tens or even the units, depending on how small or big the number is. Starting with the units shown above makes it possible to do more of the work mentally and write less as shown below. To achieve this, only one uh, unit digit, only the unit digit one of the 11 resistance in the first step, sorry. So we only write the one of the 11 here. The 10 of the 11 is remembered and then added to the 30 of the tens column to get the 113. We say the 10 is carried from the units column to the tens column. Um, and the same is done in the 10 parts are added to get the 130. Only the three digit is written in the tens column. So that makes it, so that means 30. And the 100 carries to the next step. I'm just going to get a pen and then I can try to show that more clearly. So we have this number plus this number. So sometimes it's useful to write plus, so you don't forget what you're doing. Um, so we have the seven plus the four, which gives us 11. And then what I used to do is you carry the one up here. So it says here, the 10 of the 11 is remembered and added to the 30 and 90 of the tens column. So this is the 30 and 90, this is the tens column, remember the second one. Um, so then we have one plus three plus nine. So that is one plus three is four plus nine gives us 13, but we only write the, the three. So it says here, only the three digits is written in the tens column, so that means 30. And then again, because we got 13, one plus three plus the n gives us 13, but it's 130 actually. Um, we carry the one again. So anything above nine, you'll carry the one. And then again, we do the same kind of addition. So we go one plus eight gives us nine, plus nine gives us 18. So we write the eight and we carry the one. Then we go one plus one gives us two, plus four gives us six. Now nothing is carried. You don't need to write this, but I'll just write here for clarity. That, that's a zero, so nothing is carried there. So it'll just be th zero plus three, which gives us three. So that gives that final answer over there. You need to erase that quickly. Um, otherwise it will carry to the next page. But yeah, move on. Example one, calculate each of the following without using a calculator. So we have 4,638 plus 2,667. That's the first question. And then for the second question, we have 748 plus 7,246. So try those out and then pause the video and press play when you're ready to see the answers. And I'll go through them with you. Okay, I'm just gonna get my writing tool here. So we have the answers. Okay, so just a quick refresh. We have the units column, the tens column, the hundreds column, and the thousands column, and then so on going this way. I'm sure you guys knew that already though. Okay, so we start off in the units column, always, or the column on the furthest, furthest to the right, which will be the units. Um, okay, so we go eight plus seven, which gives us 15. And then we carry the one. And then we go one plus three, which gives us four, plus six, which gives us 10. So we write the second uh, digit of whatever we've added. So we get a zero there. And then we carry the one again. And then we go one plus six gives us seven, plus six gives us 13. So we will carry the one again, because we write, so we have the 13, but we only write the second digit and we carry the one. One plus four gives us five, plus two gives us seven. That's, that's, on, that's the answer there. Let's move on to question B. So again, we start with the units. So we have eight plus six, 14. Carry the one there. And then we have five, the four plus the one. Five plus four gives us nine. So we carry nothing. So we don't, we're not going to write anything here because we don't need to. So we're going to go seven plus two because that's nine again. And then seven plus nothing gives us that and gives us seven. So that's the final answer. Let me 
erase that and move on to the next page. Um, example two, in Pilo Enterprises plans, oh, in Pilo Enterprises, so that's the name of the business, plans a new computerized training facility in the existing building. The training manager has to keep the total expenditure budget under 1 million rand. This is what she has written so far. So architects and builders, they spend this much. Painting and carpeting, this much. Security doors and blinds, this much. Get it and so on. I'm not going to read through all of those. And then the question is, work out the total cost of all the items the training manager has budgeted for. So what they're asking us is to essentially add all of these. Let's see if that gives us an answer. Yes, okay, so here are the answers. Learners can write three or four numbers at a time below each other and add them and then calculate the total budget. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna go back to that then, sorry. So, um, so you don't have to add them all in one go. So you can pick three or four, it says, that's what the solution says. And then the answer was on the next slide. Um, so you can add 100,000, 102,700 and I don't know, the, maybe up to here. So you add the first three and then um, you get the total and then you add these three maybe and then you get the total. So you have total one, total two, and then total three. Um, and then you add all the totals up. Um, I hope that makes sense. And if you're struggling to add two or three numbers and three or four together, then you could add like these two together and then these two together and then these two together and then these two and then add them all up after that. Um, yeah, try find a method that works for you. Try challenge yourself to get to add four in one go. Um, and then the answer was given here as this. So it is underneath the budget. Example three, calculate each of the following without using a calculator. So we have 7,828 plus 6,284. And then question B, we have three different things we need to add here. So we have 7,826 plus 888 plus 367. Question C, 657 plus 32,890 plus 6,542. Question D, 6,666 plus 3,333 plus one. Okay, and then let's go through. Okay, they're the answers. So we're not gonna go be able to go through them. Um, yes, I could go through one quickly. Let's do this one here. We'll do question A, just so I can show you. So we have, sorry, it's quite hard to write with the mouse. So just, I hope you can read it. So we have 7,828, right? And then we have six plus 6,284. Okay, and then right, okay, the plus could actually go there. That's probably a better place to do it. Um, and then draw a line. Okay, and then we got eight plus four gives us two. And then we, and gives us 12, sorry, but two at the bottom, and then we carry the one. And then we go one plus two plus eight gives us 11, so we put the one, we carry the one, and then we have nine plus two also gives us 11, we also carry the one, and then we have seven plus one plus six, which gives us eight plus six, which gives us 14. So you could write the four here, and then you could do an imaginary carry, but because there's nothing here, you can just write the one straight. So let's check that answer. So we have one, sorry, uh, 14,112. So 14,112, I hope that's correct. And let's go into the next slide and see. There we go, 14,112. So, and then the rest up to you. Try to do that be, uh, the questions before you look at my quick example for A though. So you do all four of these. Okay, and then dive in by completing your own activity. And that is the end of today's lesson.